Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Come and like it, Sherry. Come and take it. like it, Sherry. Your boy done switched up on you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. If this is your very first time in this channel, run over there and subscribe for me. And after you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell beside the word subscribe. So that you'll be notified every time we upload a video. And then, welcome to this great family. Now that you're part of us, there's some things that we do. There's some things I want for you to do. I want you to do it with all your heart. And I want you to do it every day because it helps us grow. Those things are comment, comment. Comment like a share and go for the team. Comment like a share and go for the team. Comment like a share and don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to come in like a share. Come in like a share. Come in like a share. Don't forget to don't forget to come in like a share. Okay, you guys, check this out. We're gonna go ahead and pray and we're gonna get into the goodness. Here we go. Hey, man, how y'all doing today? How you doing today? How you doing today? You guys, before we get started, let me let you know, Big Ben is in the building, baby. Big Ben is here. Big Ben is here to help us out. Because, baby, this is hot, and we want to get to eating, okay? We want to get to eating. Let's see if he's nice and refreshing. Mmm. Yes, he is. Okay, you guys, let's get it. I have nothing over here to the side for this meal. And nothing. Well, I've got my lips hot sauce over here. I keep it over here all the time, mostly. And if you would like for you a bottle, look in the description box. I put it way up at the top so you can miss it. This in blue. It says twolips.com. But I have a fork and a spoon over here, you guys. Today, we have southern comfort food. We have your southern chicken and rice. Generally, I eat like uh, mixed vegetables on the side. But today I just decided to give us a pot in one and put it all together. I have it all together. There's going to be your first bite. It's hot to y'all. It's good and steamy. I hope you've seen it. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. We got our jalapeno. You guys know, today. Mmm. Y'all yeah, haven't had this in a whole, whole minute. I really haven't. Even though it's something that I truly love, I use chicken legs or chicken thighs in mine. Uh, prominently, I use the chicken legs, but the chicken thighs are my favorite because of this. Because of these big old fat pieces that you get when you do the chicken thighs that come off the other thighs, baby. So, we slapped us a little slap your mama on top of them, honey. So, we didn't need no extra seasoning. Here we go. Mm mm mm. Mm-mm. That fat. Mm. Just gives it so much flavor. It really does. Mmm. That's good. You guys, this is really hot. <clears throat> Generally, I would have gotten it ready. And then I would have let it cool down. You know what I'm saying? Before I served it, and it would have got the like the creamy mushroom soup in it would have gotten thicker. But I wanted it hot. Yes, I did. I wanted it hot. I wanted to eat it hot. So I didn't wait on all of that. And it is steaming hot, you guys. And it is delicious. There you go, another bite. It's delicious. It really, really is. And it's really, really simple. Mmm. You got boil your seasoning. And whatever part of the chicken that you choose to use, let it simmer so it's got five to bone salt, with you some butter, and whatever vegetables to the water that you want, and then just pour rice on top of it. That's it. The rice cooks in there with the creamy mushroom soup, because I put a can of creamy mushroom soup in mine. It mixes with the creamy mushroom soup, and it has the taste throughout, baby. I suggest that you start off with the north, um, the chicken base bouillon. I buy mine in a big old jar, but they got the bouillon cubes. Or if you ain't got that, 
if you got some Raymain noodles with the chicken style flavor, um, you know, packs in it, use that pack. It'll flavor this for you perfectly. Perfectly. Mmm. Mm. And it's just southern comfort food. It just sticks to you and makes you feel love. It's hot. For real. Uh, you guys, yesterday, we didn't get the video out. I'm going to try to do a voiceover over it to get it out to you. I've never done that before, so it may take me a little time to pick it out. But I'm going to try to get it out for you. But we still will have our five videos. I'm either going to do one Friday or Saturday for you to make sure we get the five. As I said, we would have. Mm. Oh. And before I go any further, you guys, one of our legion, one of our special, special, special legion has a birthday today. Miss Muffin, I love you, me and my family. We love you so, so much. And we want to wish you a happy birthday on your day, baby. Mwah. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, happy birthday to ya. Happy birthday, my love. Happy birthday to you. I hope that you have a great day. My Miss Muffin. Y'all, yesterday, like I said, you're still going to get your six video, your five videos and your live. I went live yesterday because we didn't put up a video. But you will still get your five videos. I'll still put up a video either Friday or Saturday in the place of that one. Y'all, this is so good. It is so good. Mm-mm-mm. mm, -mm. mm, -mm, -mm. Any of you guys that already cooked this, you already know how special of a treat it is. And it's so simple to make, but it is a special treat. I love chicken and rice. I really do. Mmm. Mmm. Oh. I've been eating it for many, many years. I learned how to make it in a town in Louisiana called Homer, H-O-M-E-R, more than 20 years ago. Or about 20 years. And I've been cooking it ever since. I love it. Yeah, we got some great old H2O. <coughs> oh, we got some great old H2O in Big Ben. Look what we got. Some great old H2O. Mm-hmm. We're going to have H2O a lot. Because I can't, you know, I ain't going to be running. I don't look at the show once a week, y'all. I ain't going to be running back and forth in no drinks and trying to make up Kool-Aid and all that. Uh-uh. H2O. Well, do your body some good. Mm-hmm. I had to take an extra sip. Some good old ACL. I love water anyway, though. You know, we have the 30 days, nothing but water on this channel more than one time. We have. Mm-hmm. Oh. Ooh. Mm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. Y'all, it's good. It's good. I want y'all to try to make it. If you've never had it before, try to make it. And if you have had it, enjoy it. Break you some out. It's a great meal idea. It's perfect. We closed in with our loved ones. You know, we cooking every day because hopefully you ain't running the fast food. I hope that you aren't. And that's nothing against fast food. All the people that work there. It's just that right now, I probably it probably would be more wholesome for you just to cook at home. You know, because y'all, these fast food workers, they're still having to work. They need their job, you know, and they're working to provide the world with food. So, oh, excuse me, y'all, I saw that. That is just as commendable as the healthcare workers. It really, really is because y'all, there's a million one people in the world who don't know how to cook. For real. They don't. They don't know how to cook, y'all. So with that being said, that is an essential ser uh, service for a lot of people. You know, being able to get a hot meal. For real. That is essential for a lot of people. 
It really, really is. So we definitely want to say thank you to the fast food workers. Y'all are basically out there on the front line just like the healthcare workers. We appreciate you for what you do. For real. And I'm sure the people who don't know how to cook, I know they really, really appreciate you. For real. Like, for real. And that's nothing bad against them if they never were taught or if they never took an interest in it. They just don't know. You know? And there's a whole lot of people. I want y'all to listen to them. There's a whole lot of people that know how to cook, but their food don't taste good. Hey, <laughs> did I say that out loud, Nibs? I said it, I said it. For real. That's the truth. Mm-hmm. Y'all, I have went to a lot of people's homes who have bragged on how they could cook before, you know. You know, or not necessarily their homes or a function, you know, like a potluck or something at work or something. I have literally tasted a lot of people's food before in my life. They swole. They were Chef Boyardee and honey. And when I put that food in my mouth, it was like, Chef Boy, did you get food? Hey, hey. for real. Well, everybody cooks to their taste. Or let's say it that way. I have tasted a lot of people's food that their taste buds just didn't line up to what was good in mine. How about that? <laughs> hey. Okay. But anywho, some people don't know how to prepare anything for themselves, whether it tastes good or bad. They just don't. So, we want to say thank you to you guys, for sure. Mm-hmm. Yes, indeed. I have quite a few of uh, people in the medical field in my own family that is having to go back and forth to work. I definitely want to send big prayers up to them. Mmm. Y'all, this is good. It's really good. It's cooling down, so it's starting to thicken on the bottom. It's just good, y'all. I put mixed vegetables in it today. Because normally, that's what I eat on the side of my chicken and rice. But today, I was just like, man, I'm putting all in there together. And it came out delicious. I really did. It kind of put you in mind of a chicken soup now if it had been looser. You know, like it had more water in it. It would really be a chicken, well, not noodle, but a chicken soup. I've had rice many days in my life with, with rice in it. And um, what is in that, um, you know that soup that you get from the um, Japanese or, um, is it Chinese or Japanese? One of the restaurants, the miso soup. Don't it have something in it? I ain't had that in a long time. But don't it have, like, it got something in it. It may not be rice, but it has something in it. That's like, uh, you know, like a solid. Or maybe that was just my place. I don't know. But that is a soup that I have eaten before on that style that has, like, some rice or something in it. I don't know. I can't think right now. But anywho, I think you know what I'm talking about. I saw that too. So y'all, this week, Little Lips in school is on spring break. So we got reading assignments and stuff to do, but we really don't have to be like in there for interactive school in the morning at eight o'clock. Glory! Law, eight o'clock is early. It's early for me whether you quarantine or not. You know, for real, by that time, if I'd have stayed up all night long, I'd have went to bed. Y'all, this water is good. It's refreshing. Let y'all see how it's glistening. Y'all see how it's glistening. Baby, when your water glistens like that, honey, that be good water. You for real. Mm. It's delectable. Y'all, we just got to go live a while ago. We had a couple of drinks. And every while I wanted my food real, real hot. We had a couple of drinks. I needed something warm in my stomach. We just went live. I hope you were there. If you weren't, you missed it. Um. So, anywho, how y'all doing? How y'all doing today? I hope that you guys are very, very well. Happy birthday, Miss Buffett, again. I hope that you guys are being safe. 
and that you got to take care of your family as best you can. You guys, today is going to be a shorter video than we're, than we're used to. It's going to be a little shout out. I had a few things to do inside the house that I need to get done. And if I stay on here a long, long time and eat up all God's creation, y'all, when I get up here, I'll be ready to go, go to sleep. I won't be wanting to do that now. I won't. I really won't. Mm -mm -mm. Y'all, this is so good. It's really good. I love me some chicken and rice. Oh. Mm. 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 Oh. Y'all, if y'all hear something in the background, that's a little lift. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, now she's showing out. Hey! <laughs> she's showing out now, y'all. What is you want some of my water? Here, girl. Get it. Cheering, honey. Woo! Y'all. Are y'all bored? I am. I'm for real, y'all. I am so bored. Until it just don't make no sense. I'm so bored. Y'all, I think tomorrow we have a seafood, I think. I think we're doing seafood tomorrow. If not tomorrow, the next day for sure. I want some seafood. Y'all know how I am when I want some seafood? Mm-hmm. I think we're going to do a big old lobster tail again. I got to get that lobster tail the best chance I know how. Because I still don't like lobster like I like crab. I just don't. I don't. Now, I really, really love the lobster claws. But the lobster tail, which is the bread and butter of that particular crustacean, I don't get jiggy with it. Like, it don't have a taste to me. Like, a defined taste to what the meat is supposed to taste like. I don't get it. But I'm going to keep trying. But anywho. Oh. Y'all, like I said, I'm going to get it ready and go ahead and go. I love you guys so, so much. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I really, really do. Because you guys, this is something that you can whip up at home. During your quarantine, it won't take you no time and you ain't got to watch it. Throw that chicken up in the pot and season honey and let it roll. When it get done, you put you some vegetables in there, whatever you like. I like celery in mine for it to have like a little bit of a crunch. And then I put this today, I put mixed vegetables in. I generally put my vegetables on the side. Throw you a can of cream and mushroom soup in there, honey. Pour your rice over it. In there. Like swim well. So there you go. Like I said, I hope you guys have enjoyed. I love you guys so, so much. So I'm a new legion. I thank you so much for being here. I love each and every one of you guys. You guys are so amazing. Listen, you could have chosen to be in the West in the world, but you chose to be here with us. And we love you for it. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. So I'm an existing legion. You're the best. You're the best in the business, baby. And I love you all. I love each and every one of you guys. I thank you so much for coming to watch me. And I'm going to see y'all tomorrow, okay? I think we're going to have seafood. I really do. I think it's going to be seafood tomorrow. But I'm going to see you guys next time. I'm going to see you next time. I'm going to see you tomorrow with another video. And like I said, you're still going to get all five of the videos this week that you were supposed to get. I'll put one on Friday or Saturday in order to make sure that you get them, okay? I love you guys so, so much. And I'm going to see you next time, okay? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Whoa! Don't forget to protect yourself. Protect your hands. Wash your hands. Don't put your hand in your face. All that kind of stuff. I can't forget not to say that. I can't forget. You guys be safe and take care of yourself. Stay in your homes like they tell you to do. I love you all. Now we can go. Big B says good night. <laughs> Yo, I just got Big B back. Big B says good night. And it ain't no ice. But it's nice and refreshing. But anyway, now, now y'all, we can go. We can get up out of here. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. You guys, look. Always remember that there's always more than one way home. All you have to do is get there. So get there, people. Get there. I love you all. And I'm going to see you guys next time. And if you're not here to watch me next time, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. <laughs> Bye bye. Mwah. Oh, Whew. that was good.
Y'all, that was good. It really was. You guys, this is a little Southern Comfort meal. Mmm. Mmm. No me live home. But like I was saying, that you guys can cook for your family very easily and very quickly. It's really, really good. It's very filling. Um, and that's all it takes. Chicken, chicken broth, you know, that you're going to make from boiling the chicken. Put vegetables in it if you like. I got carrots, peas, and green beans in this one today. Generally, I put it on the side, but I just throw it in here today. A can of cream mushroom soup, your seasoning, and get with it, honey. And it's lovely. It really, really is. <clears throat> but anyway, y'all, I just want to say I love you guys so, so much. I love you guys so, so much. You guys are really, really making being in quarantine so much better, so much easier. Um, because I have a constant flow of love and arms wrapped around me and stay safe and best wishes and we're praying for you. You guys, that is so important during this time. Um, some of this about this situation really just sat down on me. Like, literally just sit down on me like this week. Um, you know, we all have a flight or a fight motion that comes into us when things happen. You know, our emotions that take over without us even, what they call it, autonomic uh, that just happened regardless of what goes on. Um, so I guess the fright of what was going on in the world put me in fight or flight. You know, and I just went at it. You know, trying to make sure that I had everything. Trying to make sure that my family was secure. You know, that you know that we were ready to be quarantined and be bedded down like we are. And it slipped my mind um, that I have some very, very close loved ones, you guys that are out there on the front lines every day. Never did get to stop working. And um, then when I tried to go to get in touch with them, I couldn't. So it was kind of frightful for me. Um, I just think that all of us right now, take some time to reflect um, and make sure you reflect in a manner that you do understand and have some acceptance to yourself that you guys, this is real. And um, you know, we could lose our aunts, our uncles, our cousins, our distant loved ones, or just loved ones, period. You guys, I think it's very, very important that we sit down and come to that realization that things could happen. Um, so I sent out a little text to my family to let them all know that I was thinking about them and that, you know, I love them, you know, that type of thing. You guys, let's reflect on what's going on in the world. Don't get yourself down, though. There's nothing to be down about because God is in control and he's got the whole world in his hands. Trust and believe that. You guys, but keep yourself safe. Keep yourself safe. And okay, check on your loved ones. And if you hadn't brightened up somebody's day today, make a phone call. Don't go nowhere. Don't knock on nobody, though. <laughs> but make a phone call, you guys. Hit somebody up on Facebook. Uh, somebody you haven't talked to in a while. Just right up today. Let them know that you're thinking about them, that you love them, and that you're praying for them in this tough time. I love you all so, so much. I'm going to see y'all next time, okay? Y'all be good. Y'all try to make this. It's really, really simple, okay? I love you guys so, so much. Bye-bye.